Oscars weekend and college football. Dan was trying to get me to place a bet on the Fiesta Bowl later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but, we can go to the OTB <laughs> parlor after this. Exactly. Anyway, it's an American tradition, and some people, though, watch just as much for the halftime shows that are put on by the university marching bands as they do for the game. For our American snapshot this morning, I visited a college in Louisiana where the marching band is at least as popular and even more renowned than its football team. <laughs> As they march through campus, the 200 members of the Grambling State Marching Band, with their arsenal of trombones, tubas, trumpets, and drums, are doing what they do every day, aspiring to perfection. Got to be on the count. Step, 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 step. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Almost every college football team in America has a marching band. No one has a band like Grambling. You can ask anybody, you know about Grandland Band? Oh, that's the world famed Tiger Marching Band. First time I saw the band, I was in Dallas, Texas. It was the Cotton Bowl against Prairie View. After that, ever since then, I just had to come down here. Now a senior, Brad Scroggins rose through the ranks to become head drum major. Stop moving! A key position to maintaining the band's fabled precision. And he gets to execute the renowned Grambling backbend. It's a marvel to behold. You want a curve in the arch, and you want to drop your head, and when that hat's on, it's going to make it look like you're going all the way to the ground. You want to get as low as possible. Uh, you got to have some style to it, right? See what I'm doing? Assistant band director Edwin Thomas was himself head drum major when he went to Grambling 35 years ago. Other bands have said, it's hard. We've tried it. How do you guys dance and play at the same time? Well, that's our niche. Every tradition was new once upon a time. The Grambling Marching Band was organized back in 1926, when the president of the Negro State College bought 17 instruments from Sears and Roebuck. A quarter century later, then band director Conrad Hutchinson set out to transform the Marching Tigers into the best band in the land. What he ended up doing is getting some of the popular tunes mm -hmm. off the radio and putting them out on the field and then say let's add some of the popular dance steps to them. My favorite step probably was the box step. Give me a box step. So I'm still going that way. Over the next 50 years, the Grambling Marching Band toured the country and even overseas. They were at the first Super Bowl and more recently at President Obama's inauguration. I just felt so blessed and so honored to be a part of something like that. I marched for the first black president. Playing in the Grambling Band is practically a full-time job. Summer practices before school starts last all day. You wake up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and you don't leave till around 11 or midnight. Yes, it is boot camp. It's physically demanding, high-pressured, hard. And the band members will tell you, worth it. When I put on that uniform, I feel powerful because it's like I'm standing on somebody's shoulders that made this band what it is. Standing on shoulders every Saturday, showtime. It makes me feel that I have to live up to what they did, to what they started. I love it. <laughs> I love it. No matter how demanding it is, I love it. I take pride in it. 